All right, so we're starting PS2. Palu versus Mewtwo. So Mewtwo is a character that's been very, uh, I'm not sure controversial is the right word. Uh, people are definitely like buff Mewtwo's tail lately because he does have a hurt box on his tail now. Which uh, does tend to get extended whenever he dashes. But the character is really good at pumping out damage. He's 100% still a glass cannon. Uh, if you get hit by at least one thing, you're probably going to get hit by four things. And if you get hit by one thing at a kill percent, you're definitely dead. Oh no! This man died. This man dead dead. Kiltana, however, is a character who recently got nerfed. Uh, recently in the standard of we haven't gotten a patch that much. But uh, she got nerfed recently having her nair, uh, having the damage and knock that on the nair just a little bit, I believe. Enough where she can't just go off stage at 100 and kill you for it. Um, Otherwise, she's still a pretty good, she's a really good character. At least a lot of people believe that she's still pretty good. But with these teleport characters are just kind of killing themselves when they go off stage. Uh, off stage is lava, and don't go there, guys. Come on. It honestly feels like we're playing on Unova right now, because it's like it just feels like every time that they have to recover off stage, one of them dies. My dude almost died again. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't go out there. You're gonna die. Ah! <laughs> a great, uh, a great, great, great two thing from uh, Insect. Uh, you can generally avoid uh, getting killed outright by DIing out. However, it is, uh, it does become a 50/50 for the most part once you do that, and it is gonna it is a matter of time of waiting until she messes up the timing. At which point you can kind of murder. Her. You can kind of get back on. If she uh, if she screws that up, Alatana's strengths are definitely while she has you on the ledge, and when you're fighting a teleport character like Mewtwo, has wow and a great call out from Trafe. Awesome down smash, and Trafe taking the lead now. This man is going in. Oh man, he didn't react fast enough to that up. That's the sec that's actually the second time that he's gotten hit by one hit of the explosive point and then just got flung out. That's weird. Alright. Are we no longer on team? I'm going to die off stage. Okay, okay. I respect the uh, I respect the attempt by Insect. Unfortunately giving up stage control to Trafe. The Trafe not 103% and he's having a bit of a difficulty staying on. Oh my goodness, just barely making that back. And is that going to be the stock? Yeah, he went straight up. And that's it. Too bad for you. Not really sure what kind of adjustments... Um, what kind of adjustments Trafe can make for that past match. Uh, when he was able to get momentum, he was playing really well. But he's fighting a character that has a really... It has really good uh does a really good job when he has his opponents at disadvantage off stage. He's gonna have to really think about like what he could have done a little differently there, particularly recovering. Uh they both killed themselves at least once. Uh, I think Trafe uh, almost killed himself two times. Right, let's see where we're gonna be going for the next match. All right, so uh, Insect Band, Final Destination, and Yoshi's. And we're going to Kalos again. Kalos is super popular today, apparently. All right, we'll stay in the same characters. Trefa isn't relying on the secondaries. No respect.
one, go! <laughs> Immediate auto reticle, frame one. From uh, insects, despite the fact that uh, Mewtwo has one of the better, one of the better reflects, uh, it's not that useful against Palutena because Auto Radical for the most part does not hit her that well when she gets reflected because it comes from above her. But uh, Trafe getting an immediate 68%, but Insect is bringing it back, laying on a good amount of damage. Trafe definitely missing the opportunity there to get some, to get some hits in. Oh, yeah, good, uh, good wall jump. That is one of the aspects of this matchup that uh, is... Wow, the trample actually blocking the disable. I have no words. I don't. I, I don't really know what to say. What to say about the fact that the, the disable just got blocked by the uh, the trample of Dash Attack. That is something else. And a uh, perfect placement on the explosive plane. Oh, and a good disable finally landing it. Uh, the second disable, truly on point, and you two disable is a very strong move. Like it puts you in hits for a good long while. Uh, almost like enough time to do almost a half charged F smash, like 80%, which is more than enough to take out a lot of characters in this game. So I want to see. Uh, so I understand Trave's uh, Pikmin, unfortunately. Uh, if he is right next to an explosive flame and he dashes, there's a very strong chance he's gonna get hit by literally one of the last hits because his tail is uh, is still a hurt box. So he's got to be very conscious of how his movement extends his hurt box. So if he has an explosive flame right next to him, he's not allowed to just kind of run up to punish Palu at the time because it can be extremely risky to do so. And a good grab. Insect's been doing a really good job of pressuring Trey for Trey finally getting the the shoe on the other foot. Able to get some hits in. But you can't fish like that, dude. If you're fishing, you're gonna you can get hurt pretty bad. Alright, yeah, good uh good job using the wall to mix up your uh your recovery. Uh insect not really uh insect going for that super hard read. And Trafe reading the get up manages to get a shadow ball there at the exact perfect time. Which ends insect sick and stock, and just like that, Trape has the lead for the first time this uh, this set. And is back there gonna be enough? You two is pretty light, but no, nope, not quite. And a really good uh, confusion to uh, to to disable the uh, explosive flame. You can kind of tell Trape is looking for some kind of combo starter, and unfortunately, his initial dash getting him killed there. All right, so you have an air loops into the up air again? No? All right, no, I'm not second up air that time. So Palutena's trample can be a really scary thing, but it is something that has an okay amount of ending line. So if you, she does shield directly, she does dash attack into your shield, you can generally grab her pretty easily. Though I'm not sure if Mitsu has more frames on his, uh, on his grab. Oh, goodness. Almost dying there. He's got to be a little more careful, dude. Really good use of the uh, the shadow ball to get that hit and reading the uh, the landing onto the platform. It's like going low instead. All right, and a good delay from Trey getting him back onto the stage. Insect playing the game, trying to trying to spot an opportunity to finish the match here and the set. Trey, however, is trying to keep his hopes alive as he air dodges into the explosive flame and he dies. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. But a great match from a uh, great job from Insect taking a 2-0. All right, let's see what we have here now.